that the head of the malleus the malleus is the first uh, ossicle that we will come into view and you, this is the lateral part of the ear this is the part where the eardrum forms a retraction pocket and sometimes is plastered towards the neck of the malleus or the head of the malleus so three ligaments of the malleus so you've got the superior malleal ligament lateral malleal ligament anterior malleal ligament but why not posterior because posterior is the attachment of a very important muscle called as tensor tympani it is supposed to hook around the medial wall over here and then insert into the neck of the malleus hi everyone my name is dr jagdish chaturvedi your friendly neighborhood ent teacher for pw meded and today's 3d animation topic is very important middle ear anatomy yes this is that box like thing that is made in all your textbooks or kuch samajh mein nahi aata which is superior inferior anterior posterior all these so many structures that happen people have tried to theoretically make it easy for you to understand by drawing that little cube but sometimes not understanding the actual visuals of it can lead to a lot of confusion you may just end up remembering it by heart so we have a pw meded's animation team who has made a very good 3d model of the middle ear it is fairly accurate there are some areas where the sizes and proportions have been made little disproportionate just so that they stand out and there are some technical things which i will tell which need little bit of correction but otherwise you can get a very good sense of what the ear is looking like inside the middle ear especially so the middle ear anatomy you should get a very good visuals from this 3d anatomy so stay tuned with me just to bring you to orientation this is how the ear would look right here if you're looking from outside everything written with these black black arrows these are not parts tendons ligament these are just labelings now these labelings are there to help you understand what is what so these labelings will interfere in your view but i will walk you through it okay so now when we go inside the ear canal all right we will see a ear an ear drum like this there it is there it is there it is okay so that's how we would look at the ear drum in a canal wall that is going little bit more posteriorly and superiorly now this ear drum okay what is important to understand is that the head of the malleus the malleus is the first uh, ossicle that we will come into view and you, this is the lateral part of the ear remember lateral is side and we all make our directions based on the cadaveric anatomical position so when we are turning this side this may be front to you but this is actually lateral okay this is lateral surface you have to understand that the tympanic membrane or the ear drum is lateral and what you're seeing over here this green structure is the head of the malleus the malleus bone which has a head and it has two processes so if i were to slightly turn like this and show you the complex parts of the malleus you can see over here oopsie doopsie let me just get it a little bit more inside ab andar aaja ai kaisa hai bhai let's get this here yeah yeah here we got a good view okay so i'm going to just turn this around a bit look at this green structure okay the long process of the malleus is is usually embedded within the fibrous layer of the tympanic membrane here to show the entire length of the long process of the malleus it is shown as if it is stuck behind but it is actually embedded within the middle layer remember during embryology all the malleus incastapus and its ligaments and tendons are made from the neural crest cells that contribute towards the mesenchymal cells and the mesenchymal tissues otherwise everything from the outside of the eardrum is all ectodermal coming from your pharyngeal arches and branchial clefts okay and whatever is here this tubo tympanic you know this eustachian tube uh, you know uh, tubo tympanic tube or this recess all of this is coming from your pharyngeal pouches okay so this in the middle is all what comes from the neural crest cells which are basically then a communication between the eardrum to the cochlea cochlea which does not develop from the pharyngeal arches pharyngeal arches are an evolution of us human kind from water bodies our cochleas are primitive water shaking system that is there from our origin even when we were you know with the first living kind but 
the the pharyngeal arches are modified gills they have been developed to convert sound from air into water and uh, it was not needed if it was from water to water that's why gills used to perform more of a respiratory function but now gills are, in humans are no use we have separate lungs so this is modified into pharyngeal arches also known as gill arches or known as branchial arches so that is embryology here you can see this is the long process of the malleus this is the short process of the malleus now the short process is lateral i told towards the eardrum is lateral so it's also called as the lateral process of the malleus and this over here is the head of the malleus and the space between the tympanic membrane and the head of the malleus is called as the prosac space very important space when it comes to cholesteatoma theories this is the part where the eardrum forms a retraction pocket and sometimes is plastered towards the neck of the malleus or the head of the malleus all right the malleus has got three ligaments remember malleus has three ligaments incus has two ligaments stapes has one ligament okay so three two one so the three ligaments over here this small white one that you can see over here this is the lateral malleolar ligament okay this space between the lateral malleolar ligament neck of the malleus and the tympanic membrane is the prosac space what you're seeing over here coming towards this side over here this white thing because it cannot show an insertion because this is what would be the anterior wall um, this is the anterior malleolar ligament and over here what you can see behind this is the posterior malleolar ligament so they have the posterior uh, sorry this is the superior malleolar ligament it is holding it to the roof roof of the middle ear is the tegment tympanum the thin plate of bone separating between middle ear and middle cranial fossa so three ligaments of the malleus so you've got the superior malleolar ligament, lateral malleolar ligament, anterior malleolar ligament. But why not posterior? Because posterior is the attachment of a very important muscle called as tensor tympani. This tensor tympani muscle, as you can see, is coming along with this eustachian tube from the eustachian tube opening. It is supposed to hook around the medial wall over here and then insert into the neck of the malleus jo isme dikhaya nahi hai but it actually takes a right angle turn it goes along one process it's called processus cochleiformis the promontory or this part this medial wall is called as promontory it is a part of the basal turn of the cochlea it's part of the vestibule and the basal turn of the cochlea so this tensor tympani actually comes there hooks around it and comes straight so if i had to recreate this 3d this would come like this hook around the processus cochleiformis and come straight right now it is shown like it is coming in an angle if it comes in an angle it will pull the eardrum towards the front side okay so i know complex middle ear but this images will help you understand all right so that's why you can see this part over here when you look at the eardrum you will see the long process of this you know the handle of the malleus and you will see little bit of projection over here which is the projection of the short or the lateral process of the malleus which always pointing anteriorly so that's why if you see the short process or lateral process of malleus it is anterior you see a eustachian tube opening circle which is also anterior and the cone of light is also in the antero inferior quadrant that's how you can tell whether it's right ear or left ear so malleus ho gaya all right so let us now go to the second ossicle that is the incus which is in this light green incus has two ligaments the incus is attached to the malleus already okay that is a gliding synovial joint and this is a saddle type of joint whereas when it's attached to the stapes below that is also a gliding synovial joint but it is a ball and socket type of joint so this one over here uh is uh this uh, has two ligaments one is a posterior ligament which is not shown over here wo niche se aata hai idhar all right and there is a superior ligament which is here because you need it to attach to the tegment tympani the stapes that you can see over here has a round ligament going all around it called as the annular ligament this is around the foot plate of the stapes all around this whitish structure that you can see and of course on the other side it is attached to a muscle which i will show you over here thoda sa isko angle karte hain and come downwards yeah all right there you see this muscle attaching to the neck of the stapes that is the stapedius muscle so the stapedius tendon is already there supporting it from one side only two ossicles are supported by muscles a tensor tympani which is attached in supporting the neck of the malleus or the malleus bone 
and then the stapedius muscle or the tendon of the stapedius supporting the the suprastructure of the stapes no muscular attachment on the incus only two ligaments and two joints hold the incus in place superior incudal ligament posterior incudal ligament one side malleus other side stapes to wo beech mein it is now stabilized from all directions malleus is the one that needs to be attached the most it has three ligaments and one muscle so it has the superior malleal ligament it has the anterior malleal ligament lateral malleal ligament and from behind the tensor tympani now now that you have understood all of these things you will easily be able to tell what are the th structures that are there in each wall okay so with that we will be able to complete this now you see what are the structures that are going to the anterior wall this is the right ear this is the front so anterior there are basically four major structures one big artery one big nerve one big tube and one big muscle all right so the artery is an internal carotid artery with its sympathetic plexus okay internal carotid artery with its sympathetic plexus is anterior next to it there is a nerve you can see this yellow part over here and you can see that there are some nerve that is being shown now this big nerve which is being shown coming anteriorly is coming from the facial nerve facial nerve is actually on the posterior wall posterior wall matlab that side so if i'm looking from top okay if i'm looking from top now this is the posterior wall this is the anterior wall this is the lateral wall where the tympanic membrane this is the medial wall where the cochlea this whole thing is your petrous part of the temporal bone all right so this anteriorly it is coming because the tongue is anterior from the facial nerve the cauda tympani nerve has to come from the anterior wall of the middle ear to then supply the anterior two thirds of the tongue along with it it is accompanied by another very small nerve called as a lesser petrosal nerve you can see this lesser petrosal nerve is coming from this group of nerves sitting on the promontory promontory forms the medial wall okay which is the wall which is opposite to the lateral wall this medial wall as you can see it has lot of nerve plexus there the glossopharyngeal nerve plexus it sends one nerve downwards on the floor called as the jacobson's nerve which again goes towards the tongue and one nerve towards the anterior wall which is this lesser petrosal nerve which is because as the name suggests it is along the petrous part of the temporal bone so one big artery along with its sympathetic plexus internal carotid artery one big nerve cauda tympani and one small nerve lesser petrosal nerve what is a big tube the eustachian tube you can see this big eustachian tube this is anterior and the muscle you already know tensor tympani muscle that comes from there hooks along the processus cochleiformis attaches on the medial wall of the malleus all right so these are the four structures of the anterior wall that you can easily remember posterior wall which is the other side basically just has the facial nerve canal facial nerve canal is also called as the fallopian canal and if i were to bring this if this cooperates and i'm able to bring it over here and zoom in to the posterior wall wait let me just get this whole thing down here ha do ungli se aa jata hai now okay now this posterior wall you can see there is this small triangular eminence over here called as a pyramidal eminence that pyramidal eminence is from where this stapedius muscle comes and attaches to the stapes and as you can see now this forms two spaces one one space is more lateral lateral is always towards the tympanic membrane this space over here is called as the facial recess because the facial nerve canal is going here from there only this cauda tympani nerve branch has come this is where we go through surgeries to enter the round window which is below round window is below oval window is above oval window is attached to the scala vestibuli vestibules it's scala vestibuli this is called fenestra vestibuli another name for it and that goes into the scala vestibuli or the upper you know uh, compartment of the cochlea round window below is called as scala tympani or the secondary tympanic membrane it is also called as the fenestra tympani okay so these are the two round window and oval window and from this facial uh, recess or this facial uh, space uh, facial uh, 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 recess we can enter and directly put an electrode into the round window for cochlear implant surgeries but this space over here forms a sinus tympani the very important space over here this sinus tympani is the space between two ledges 
of the uh, you know promontory where the steepest footplate has gone right when you when you take some coin and you press it onto some atta the side areas will lift up like that the side areas lift up the upper area is called ponticulus lower area is called as subiculum okay so ponticulus is basically if i look at uh, let me get this up over here yeah so ponticulus is basically the lower part of the uh, oval window and subiculum is the upper part of the round window and this whole space forms a space called sinus tympani where a lot of uh, cholesteatoma may get missed out and cause recurrence okay so that's why this is an important clinical anatomical part so we finished anterior wall we finished posterior wall posterior wall has a structures facial canal or fallopian canal it has the pyramid and it has the tendon of the or uh, stipidius muscle all right and it has these two recesses the sinus tympani and the facial recess lateral wall you know is the is the tympanic membrane or the eardrum anterior wall i already told you the four structures medial wall you have already seen over here is the promontory the jake the the nerve tympanic plexus and one nerve going down called as a jacobson's plexus you have the oval window round window and all of these structures form the medial wall roof tegment tympani separating the middle ear from the middle cranial fossa not posterior cranial fossa and the floor is formed by the jugular plate this separates the jugular bulb the biggest turning of the internal jugular vein okay so i think with this you are now going to be able to identify all the structures that are there in the middle ear you can see how it is tightly packed and positioned in a very small area but with this 3d visuals i think you can now tell all the relations all the structures that are there anterior posterior medial lateral superior inferior wall of the middle ear the ligaments the tendons the spaces everything covered in a compact way through these animations only by pw meded so i hope this helps in your quick revision signing out dr jagdish chatravedi take care